Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the G.I. Joe Vamp RC vehicle, um, radio controlled by Hasbro. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I'm not a huge fan of this thing. Um, it has some issues and a lot of lost opportunity in my opinion, but uh, it is what it is and, and this is what we got. So. Um, right off the bat, we also have a size comparison here. I have a 112th scale classified snake eyes and a 118th scale three and three quarter inch O-ring snake eyes. And as you can see, the vamp doesn't really fit with either scale that the GI Joes are currently available in, which is, again, a lost opportunity. Even though the, the vehicle itself does not accommodate figures, you can't even display it with either line, in my opinion. It just doesn't look right. Um, and when I say it doesn't accommodate figures, I mean it. Um, it is a injection molded flimsy plastic chassis on there, like a lot of RC cars to uh, reduce the weight, I suppose. But uh, there are no seats, there are no opening doors, nothing like that which would have been very easy to accommodate in this thing, quite frankly, because when you peek inside, there's really not much to it. Um, the missile box on the back does not pivot or rotate or anything. It does have spinning wheels on the sides. I'm not sure why, but it's got that. Um, there is a shovel in the front, but it does not come off, even though it looks like it could does have big rubber spongy tires which actually does work quite well to go over various terrain so that's good um, big bumper in the front and the back to make sure you don't break nothing it's got an obvious on off switch with a light to indicate that it's on and it has a USB charging thing which is great so it does have some pluses there the remote itself, right here, the light will flash until both units are on. When both units are on, the light will stop flashing, so that's how you know you're connected. It has a forward back, it has a left right, and it has like a turbo boost kind of function on it. But the actual remote itself, compared to, for example, the, the Jurassic World remote I just got done reviewing, this is not that comfortable to hold quite frankly, because you have to have your finger up here. It's okay. I mean, it'll get the job done. But when you compare it to something like this, I mean, this is very comfortable. So, let's see how well it rolls, huh? Steering works. Here's the turbo boost, which works pretty good. Uh oh It does work quite well as an RC car. I will give it that. Um, let me see if I can just rotate us a little bit this way. I do have some stones in my driveway there, so we'll take it over the stones. You can see it is all terrain at least. It does work pretty well in that respect. Now let's see how far I can take it down the driveway. take you out in the road so we're going to turn back around it is a bit easier to steer than the uh, RC car was or from matchbox 
even though it had a comfier remote, this is, uh, as far as an RC car goes, this is more fun to play with, in my opinion. So yeah, it does work quite well as an RC car. It is all-terrain. It's got great tires for that. It's light enough to be able to go over all-terrain. I like the battery compartment charging with the USB cord. Um, this just takes, a, I forget what kind of batteries it takes, but you just have to unscrew the back and put them in there. I think it was like two double A's, something like that. So all in all, I, as far as an RC car, it's great. But as far as a, a toy to go along with your GI Joes, not so great. Speaking of the Jurassic World vehicle, which I mentioned earlier, here it is next to that. And if I could just marry these two things together, that would be awesome. Because the, the Jeep Gladiator from Jurassic World can accommodate O-ring figures. This cannot. And I think that's a huge missed opportunity. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's colossal compared to it. And this thing, unfortunately, doesn't go all, all terrain, I don't think. It's a little too heavy, and the tires, it's got a little too much, too low of a profile to do that. Last but not least, just so you can see how ridiculously huge it is, here it is next to a Hiss tank from the O-ring line, vintage. So yeah. I mean, this is closer to classified scale than anything, unfortunately, again, because it's too small for that. But all in all, as an RC vehicle, it is, it is pretty fun. I won't lie. So this has been my review of the remote controlled GI Joe vamp, or radio controlled GI Joe vamp, I should say, from Hasbro. I wish it could accommodate figures. And I wish it was to scale with the figures that we have. But as far as an RC car, it is a lot of fun. If you like this video, check out my channel where you'll find a whole bunch of other toy reviews as well as comic book content. If you like what you see there, then please like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.